Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd Brown and welcome social media family to my vlog. Season six, six? How that look like six? <laughs> Season six, episode two, track two of the making of the Salute Project album. Let's get into it. Welcome to the making of the Salute Project web series, the first of two I'm doing alongside the making of the Therapy album. And as with part one, episode one, I'm gonna go into the original track that I recorded, how that came about, and go into the Salute mix of the track and enlighten you and give you an insight as to how that came about. So let's get into it. Track number two, I'm doing me. The unique thing about I'm Doing Me is that that particular track is the most recent in the whole compilation of the Salute Project album. I released that as part of the Vocalist album in 2017 and re-released it by way of a digital deluxe edition in 2018 where I added six more tracks to that particular album. So that being the most recent was the most surprising for me that anyone would have chosen in the whole Salute project. The original was written by myself and also the music was composed by none other than Patrick Anthony, AKA Trix Anthony, AKA Patrick Tenu, which he served as one third of the great brass section, Matix. And now he has his own production company, Abba Original, and Homefront Productions. Now this brother, I call him a nomad because he doesn't stay one place too long. He is in Hawaii right now because I wanted him to shoot part of a music video for me and he's saying, well, I'm in Hawaii. Do you want me to shoot some of the stuff there? <laughs> That's just the way how Patrick rolls. How me and Patrick met up was quite a number of years ago when I just started getting the Rhythm Works band together from like around, I think it was around 2000 and, ooh, 2007, 2008, around that time. We remained firm friends ever since. And I didn't really know him as a producer back then, but then after getting to know him and realize how tough a producer he is, ideas just started flowing between myself and him. Do you know what I mean? You know, and he had tons and tons and tons of rhythms. He, he would always phone me up and say, got a tough rhythm for you, bruv. Tough rhythm, bruv. <laughs> and I was just saying, said it. Two days later, I still don't get nothing in the email. And I have to course him up and say, yo, Trick, send the rati ting, come man. And he would send it. And it would be worth the wait because the, ryth the rhythms that he had were tough, tough tunes. And he can write, he can basically produce across the board, not only reggae music, but jazz, you name it, he can basically do it, you know what I mean? It all depends on where his head is at. And if you look across my last five albums, he features heavily on those. Even on my therapy album, he has two tracks on there. One is The Usual Suspects, the other track is a different kind of crazy. Those two tracks are his co-productions on the therapy project, but we'll get into that later down the line. So that's how we kept our working relationship going. So in response to the request for the artist that we chose to feature on the project, it was one Harmony Deja that chose I'm Doing Me. Now my knowledge of Harmony Deja was, ooh, it was kind of accidental because I heard her, but didn't know who she, didn't know her. And it wasn't until I heard a couple of tracks from, uh, let me see, from Set It To Be, and I started to hear a lot more about her. But the unique thing about her that really drew her to me was that she was a producer herself and she was getting into music production big time to the point now where she's got a label called Shiro Records and she's really, really gone far in that, you know, alongside her partner Kirk and they're doing very, very well in, in that respect. I was informed of certain trials and tribulations that she was going through, you know, and um, all I could do was just pass on my best wishes. 
thinking that she wasn't really active in the recording scene, I still reached out to her because I really rated her vocals. She's got nice, smooth, smooth, silky vocals to her. And um, when I invited her to be a part of the project, that was the track she wanted to do. There was no second choice, no third choice. That was the track she wanted to do. And it was a moving thing for me when I found out later on why she wanted to do that track. Oh yes, I'm free, 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 free. I'm doing me, 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 me. Oh yes, I'm free, 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 free. I'm doing me, 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 me. Oh. Another song is in my head as I get out. Another bill drop through my front door I got a spring in my step As I grab another bed By the chorus, verse and score No more drama, no more hurt From the ghost of relation pa I go and turn the page on the next chapter Health and strength that gives them She was a true pro, done her vocals and it wasn't until I actually posted up the lyrics of the song and tagged her into it when she said to me on social media that song gave her a lot of strength. And that's the amazing thing about music. When it reaches people and touches people in a certain way and you don't realise how much it touches them, it realises the power of music and how we present it, how we make it how we feel while we're making the music. She came in, she recorded it like a true pro and in turn gave me strength as much as I gave her strength within the track, I'm Doing Me. And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters, was how I'm Doing Me was made in the Salute Project album. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for stopping by. And as always, you've done know the cool people. Please abstain from foolishness, even your own. And until we link up next time, people, stay blessed. McGon, I'm out of here. Laters. Abstain from foolishness.